one of the best fish sandwiches I've ever had. It's still hot. Good morning everyone, David Hoffman here from David's Been Here. Right now my father and I are on Alligator Alley. We're crossing South Florida from Miami to Naples. It's a two hour drive and the reason we're going to Naples is because tomorrow we're gonna be attending the Big Swamp Smoke Off Barbecue Competition. It's a food festival. A lot of top chefs around the country come to compete to see who makes the best brisket, ribs, pork buns, I mean, they got a lot of different things. They also have live music and craft beer. Today we're gonna to be focusing on seafood. We're gonna be eating at Grouper and Chips for lunch. It's a 20 year old restaurant. They have a lot of delicious seafood, but I'm most excited about their Grouper sandwich and their seafood bisque. After that, we're gonna go check into our hotel. The best hotel in Naples is called Inn on Fifth. And then for dinner, we're going to Captain and Crew Fish Market and Raw Bar. There we're gonna have some delicious mussels and oysters. Are you excited, Dad? My mouth is watering already. <laughs> ready, I'm ready. I'm How many ready. times have you driven on this alligator alley? Oh God, I forgot. I mean, so many times. Probably 30 times, easy. So alligator alley, the reason they call it that is because we're basically crossing the Everglades and I mean, it's just like marshland all around here. So, uh, no, it's the Everglades National Park. It's a bunch of alligators also. That's why it's called Alligator Alley, I think. Obviously, so I mean, it's one long road. There's almost uh, no stops. I don't even think there's a gas station on the way. And if you look over to the right, there's a canal. And there you'll see alligators and turtles basking throughout the whole day. It's a beautiful day today. It's a little cold. It's around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And yeah, we're going to be in Naples in about an hour and a half. See you there. David, but you're wrong. There's a gas station here. So this is pretty amazing. I mean, it's cool. First time we take the Porsche out on the road, and uh, we uh, we're doing some interesting passing here, where you can really see the performance of the car. It's kind of neat. It's fun though. We just entered Naples, Florida. This city was founded in the 1880s, and the founders thought that the bay looked like the Naples Bay in Italy. That's why they call it Naples. And it was a small little town for a very long time until 1927 when the railway finally connected Naples with northern Florida and the rest of the United States. And then in 1928, they created the Miami Trail, which is the road that connects Miami to Naples. And we are about one minute outside of the restaurant. I am too hungry right now. So we're waiting to sit inside because it's extremely packed. We're gonna have two uh, seafood chowders while we wait. Okay, so this is our famous New England style chowder. We have grouper clams and potatoes in it. And then our Caribbean fish soup, which is a spicy tomato based grouper medley of vegetables. It's oh delicious. My God. Caribbean fish soup. That's it. Very spicy, very good. Very uh, rich. I guess that's the description. So I'm gonna try the Caribbean style and carrots, tomato, like that. A little spicy, no? So right here we have the seafood chowder. This is delicious. It's 54 degrees right now. Okay, yeah. so this is the saute grouper. Oh my god. And this is our linguine special. This is with black and mahi. My goodness. This well, is our two piece. Really fun. And our grouper sandwich. So we basically got a seafood feast, grouper focused. We have fried grouper, we have crab cake, mahi with linguine, black and grouper sandwich, and saute grouper. I'm gonna start with the fried grouper. I love fried grouper with tartar sauce. Mm. This is amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, let's see. I wonder if these crab cakes are from Maryland or from here, from Naples. I can eat crab cake all day long. It's great. So I'm gonna try the crab cake now. Mm. I don't know what the sauce is, but it's fantastic. This is the linguine. How are you? Good to see you. You can tell they know what they're doing. Okay, so next up is the sauteed grouper. The grouper is super fresh. They must have like just bought it today. Oh my god. This is the mahi mahi with linguine. And it, the sauce is not heavy, it's like it's a light sauce. Mm. I love it, super light. I love the pepper they put on it. And they also have artichoke right here. We have a blackened grouper sandwich. How do you want to do it? It's a sandwich? I guess we should. Right? We should. So. Maybe it should put a little bit of uh, tartar sauce, tartar on, sauce on it and then cut it in half. Mm. This is one of the best fish sandwiches I've ever had. It's still hot. Everything looks simple, but it's sophisticated. Oh. Personally, the blackened grouper sandwich is my favorite. It's the crab cake and that one too. 
The thing is, I might be biased because I love the sandwiches. That's what I usually order whenever I go somewhere to ask for a sandwich. It's a pity to uh, leave any of that. I destroyed the fish and chips. They're so good. Everything was delicious. Can't leave here without finishing the mahi mahi. Are you volunteering Sunday? A lot of pepper. Last piece of fish. My name is Natalie Wilhelm, and our place is Golf Coast Grouper and Chips. We've been here almost 25 years. Uh, we're known for our fried grouper sandwich in particular. We do beautiful sauteed dishes, linguine specials, crab cakes. Grouper really wasn't marketed when my parents started this place all those years ago. We were able to capitalize on that and we've been fortunate to have had, gained such a loyal following and we're just really proud and blessed to be here. So you guys had our uh, sauteed grouper with rice and vegetables, served with our signature lemon butter sauce. You had our half and half, which is done fried with french fries and coleslaw. We do that with a tempura batter, wet batter. Our batter is what we're known for, that's what people love here. You had our linguine special, served with black and mahi. It's all tossed together with beautiful veggies and our signature lemon butter sauce as well. So you had the two-piece grouper basket, also served with french fries and coleslaw, and you had the grouper sandwich basket served the same. Uh, you can always mix up the sides. You can do veggies, you can do rice, you can do linguine, whatever your heart desires. If you're ever in Naples, come and check us out. We'll be waiting here for you. So we did it. We had an enormous grouper seafood feast. It was delicious. We have to give a big thanks to Natalie, her sister, Thank for you, hosting Natalie. us. Grouper and chips. Amazing place. And now we're going to Riptide Brewery, which is right next door. You know, we always try craft beer wherever we go, so it's right next door, why not? Why not? This brewery, they don't bottle beer yet, uh, so you can only drink it here. And the way it works is that if you want a flight, it's 10 bucks, 20 ounces in total, you get four beers. And what I got is, I got the Undertow IPA, I got the Kraken Double IPA, I got the Perma Brown Ale, and the Pure Side Porter. I'm gonna try them all really quick. Mm, that's a hoppy IPA. Mm, smooth, double IPA. Mm, that's extremely hoppy. That's an awesome beer. Here we have the Irma Brown Ale. Ooh, it almost tastes more like a porter. That is good. Very coffee bean. Ooh. And this one has a lot of chocolate. My favorite, double IPA. Cheers, guys. I like both, actually. I don't normally like the browns, but these are good. IPA is always IPA. You can tell the difference. We have some craft beer. Now we're going to the hotel. In on fifth. Our room is waiting for us. <laughs> so we've entered downtown historical Naples and this is Fifth Avenue. This is like the main shopping street. There's a lot of restaurants and our hotel is right here. Everything is perfect. Look, look how pretty this place is. Enjoy your stay with us. Thank you so much. We got the VIP status here, club level. <laughs> I love traveling with you, David. You get the best deal. <laughs> so, 284? 284. Wow, look at this. I think this is pretty amazing. I mean, it's uh, it's incredible suite. Am I happy to sleep with you in the same bed? Yeah, <laughs> that's the only thing they asked me. They were like, you want to sleep in the same bed? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, there's nothing worse than sleeping with a grandparent, right? Woo! <laughs> I'm loving the Inn on Fifth. This is very luxurious, very spacious, king size. You have a huge living room over here. Very good quality property. I like it, David. This bathroom is ridiculous. As you can see, there's a bath and a shower, and it's like floor to ceiling marble. This is incredible. Good morning, David. I'm Kathy Christopher. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing of the Inn on Fifth in Naples, Florida. We are a luxury boutique hotel in a divine location right on Fifth Avenue South in Naples, which is the main street of Naples. As you can see going on today is an art festival. Anything of importance that happens in Naples happens on Fifth Avenue. This is where Santa Claus comes, this is where St. Patrick comes, and we have great festivals. The Inn on Fifth is 119 rooms, which include 32 very luxurious club level suites that include all the amenities you can imagine. Breakfast, a bar at night with hors d'oeuvres and port and desserts later at night. There's a lovely rooftop deck for our guests' enjoyment with a hot tub. And we're in two separate buildings, so there's a very distinct difference between those who want 
the elegance and the luxury of club level. And then we have the main building, which are standard hotel rooms, still very nice. We focus on service. We pride ourselves on very high levels of customer service. We're a short walk to the beach, so we are an ideal walking destination for our guests. Getting ready, huh? I shouldn't be drinking. Hey, how you doing? So right now we're going to the third floor, and there we're gonna get some drinks because they have happy hour between 4.30 and I think around 9 p.m. And then from there we're gonna go up to the fourth floor, which is the rooftop, and there you're gonna see a beautiful sunset. I'm gonna get some aerial shots as well. Beautiful, right? I thought it would be warmer. Salute. Cheers. It's not really that cold. I was like overdoing it with this jacket now. Yeah, right? How cold is it? So right here to the left we have Fifth Avenue. That is the main street. Then over here we have the airport back there. And right over here we have the Gulf of Mexico. That is correct. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it here. Especially when you see people in bathing suits and we're like dressed like this. <laughs> we're from Miami, they're from Canada probably. <laughs> okay, so for dinner, we're gonna go eat some delicious seafood at Captain and Crew. And that's with a K, Crew, K-R-E-W-E, -E, uh, fish market and raw bar. Can't wait for that. <laughs> for oysters. Man, I mean, Gulf Coast oysters are the best, aren't they? And the restaurant is located only about two blocks away from Inn on 5th. And this is beautiful right now. The weather is fantastic. So right here we have 5th Avenue. That's where Inn on 5th is. And this is the heart of downtown Naples. Here you have all the restaurants, all the boutique shops. You walk straight down here, you get to the beach, and that is the Gulf of Mexico. This is an amazing spot. Love this location. All right, let's get to the restaurant and eat some oysters. So we arrived here at Captain and Crew, and this is a fish market and restaurant with a raw bar. They have some amazing oysters. We're gonna try some delicious lobster roll. We're gonna also have, what else do you say? I forgot, he's telling us a lot of things. Um, but as you can see right behind me is the fish market. It's open every day, and they usually close around 3 p.m., but if somebody comes in here and wants to get some fish, you can buy it right here. But usually you come in here, you have uh, you know some stone crabs, lobster roll, whatever you want. They have some incredible oysters. They've been open since 2016. This was actually a fish market 15 years before that. I can't wait. Here we have a nice IPA, local IPA. Oh my god. We're gonna have the best oysters in Naples. By now, so by you're, you're corrupting me. I promise not to drink <laughs> until uh, Dia de los Enamorados. What is it? Uh, Valentine's. Valentine's. Stone crabs. It's uh, grilled oysters, so the compound butter is pecorino cheese, garlic, uh, oregano, and chives. Ooh. This looks good. Mm. Pecorino and oysters, who would have thought it tastes so good, man? Here we have what I came here for, oysters. These are charboiled oysters. Ooh, they're hot. Oh my god. Heaven in the ocean. Oh. Mm. You have to enjoy this. I mean, like, you have to really think about it when you eat it. You gotta savor those flavors, huh? Mm. Who would have thought pecorino would be good with oysters? Eh? And right here we have stone crabs. This is one of my favorite things in the oh, world. Oh my god. Right. Okay. Very good. And then right here we have a crab BLT. And we have a lobster roll. Very good. Right. But we have to go to the stone crabs first. Yeah. They're gonna get cold. Hurry up. Yeah, they're already cold. They have all the shells. Right? I can eat like a million of these. Put into the sauce. Mmm. Takes me back to my childhood. The Joe's Stone Crab. This is one of the very unique things here in Florida. We have stone crabs. It's seasonal. It starts in August and it ends, I think, February. Definitely, this is one of those things you could eat all your life. I wish I could make you taste this now because it's like, so good. You dip it. Mm. And right here we have the crab BLT crab meat wrapped in lettuce with bacon, tomato, and uh, yeah, probably the best BLT I'm ever gonna eat because it's seafood. Oh. 
You gotta savor that moment. You guys gotta try this. Like, I never tasted with something like this before. This is really good. Like really, 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 really good. Okay, so right here we have a lobster roll. If you've never eaten lobster roll, this comes from New England. It's very traditional in Maine, Boston, basically up north, northeast United States. Lobster roll, they make it very different. It's a lobster roll, there's tomato, there's like a, I think there's avocado, there's some salad. A lot of the lumps of lobster are falling. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Oh my God. I need a second stomach for this. I can eat this forever. Mm. Oh my God, everything here is out of control. I think we're moving here, we're living here. Just unbelievable taste. This is probably the best lobster roll I've ever tasted in the world. They're very crunchy. We had two amazing seafood restaurants Ooh. today. I what hope you guys like this video because we ate our heart out. <laughs> our hearts yeah, out. we suffered. We suffered to make this video. <laughs> we suffered, yeah, right. <laughs> no, it was really good. I mean, every single no, thing go, was delicious. Let's go have a wine or something in a nice place. Now. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you tomorrow at the Barbecue Smoke Off Festival competition. Let's go.